setting new standards in podcast excellence. You have joined the WBT, fully focused on business and taxes. Here is your host, Michael Lodge. And welcome on this Sunday. I just wanted to come to you because it's the National Day of Prayer. And it's I I want to express to you how important prayer is, because prayer can move mountains, you can go through it, you can go over it, you can go under it, but if you pray, you can accomplish great things. This nation has Texas, and Texas needs your prayers. The people who have lost their homes, the people who need medical attention, the people who need food, the people who need special spiritual care... They need your prayer. And the whole nation needs your prayer to get us to stop dividing this nation. But Texas today is in our hearts and in our prayers. Now, prayer is very special, and you can do it anywhere that you want to do that. You might be driving along in the car. Pray. Just close your eyes and pray. You might be walking along. And taking your daily walk, pray, just talk to God. You might be flying in a plane, you might be on a bus, you might be on a transit system, you might be at your family's house, you might be at a restaurant and having dinner or breakfast or an evening supper, pray. Just drop your head and pray and say, Lord, be with Texas and be with this great country. Prayer has done so much. And it takes a lot of prayers. Remember, when there's one or more praying, so much can get done. God has made us that promise. I know that sometimes you get embarrassed about praying. But don't be embarrassed. Lift your hearts to God and say, Lord Texas needs your help. And some of you may not know how to pray, but it is so very simple. Because God can hear our hearts, He can hear our minds. And all you have to do is say, Lord, hear my prayer. Texas needs your help. America needs your help. My brother, my sister, my mom, my dad, they need your help. I lift them up to you, God. I lift them up. And then all you have to say is, Amen. It doesn't have to be long. It doesn't have to be winded. It doesn't have to be a lot of words. God loves the simple. And a simple prayer goes a long ways. So on this National Day of Prayer, don't be afraid to lift your hearts up and lift your prayers up to God. I really love the fact that in Texas, they have all come together to support each other. That takes a community. It takes a community who cares about each other. God loves communities. And today we have the opportunity to become a community of prayer. A community of lifting our voices up and our thoughts up to God to answer, to ask for help. And there's nothing wrong with asking for help. God wants us to come to Him and ask for help. We forget that sometimes, but that's what prayer is about. So, for those of you who believe in a God, and some of you might not kind of believe in a God, but today, in faith and in hope, Just lift your voices, lift your thoughts in prayer. There's a a promise that says, Whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, so you shall receive. It's a great promise. And I I tell you, I, I think of that every single day. When I know that there's an issue, that... I'll tell you a good example. I have a friend who just had... A baby girl. But the baby girl came a little too soon. Should have come in November. It came right now. Her name is Reagan Hope. 
And my prayer is that she will continue to get stronger and stronger every single day until she's able to go home to her parents. And I have faith that that will happen because I know that God loves Reagan. And I know that God loves Texas and he loves our nation. This nation has been so divided for so very long now that we need to pray for unity of a nation to come together as a community and work as a community in faith that God will bring us together. So lift your hearts in prayer. Lift your thoughts in prayer. Because today is a national day of prayer. And we can do so much together as a community in prayer. So remember today as you're out and about, no matter where you're at, no matter where you stand, no matter where you're riding, no matter where you're eating, no matter what you're doing, it just takes a few seconds to offer God a prayer. Everybody have a great National Prayer Day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to The WBT with Michael Lodge. Join us again tomorrow as we explore more about business and taxes. Follow us on iHeartRadio and go to our podcast website at www.wbtpod.com and listen to all of our podcasts and read our blogs. World of Business and Taxes on WBT.